Let's talk about the subconscious mind and why you don't need to impress anything. Is there even a subconscious mind or is it just another assumption, just like everything else? Let's dive into it. So the first person that came up with the term unconscious or subconscious was Sigmund Freud. And he basically invented this concept, okay, to better explain or understand the why of mental illness, okay? But is there any subconscious mind? Now we take this for granted. But at some point it was not, just like everything else. This is what the law of assumption implies. <laughs> everything that you assume to be true, it has to be true. It doesn't matter if it was not true before that. It doesn't matter if you assume something exists, it will. Because there's no limits to imagination. N no limits at all. Consciousness knows no limits. And you can mold consciousness in whatever concept. And if you accept it as your truth, it's gonna be your truth. Do we really have a subconscious mind? Yeah, now this is proven by science, but why? How science comes to be science? Think about it. <laughs> so if you start from the premise that there's a sub subconscious mind, yeah, if you keep on investigating this, you're gonna find out that there is a subconscious mind. You moved to that reality where there is a subconscious mind. And the more you investigate this, the more you're going to find out. The more you mess around, the more you're going to find out. This is how they came to the idea that the subconscious is blind and it has to be impressed and it doesn't know anything outside what you tell it. But we treat this subconscious mind as some, something separate from us. My love, nothing is subconscious. So I understand Sigmund Freud, brilliant mind, wanted to find like a reason for why we repeat patterns and for mental illness and such. So he was searching for a reason and he found something there. But what he's naming the subconscious is just the choices that you're not aware that you're making daily. So you keep on choosing to look at the situation through the same POV, to give the same meanings to your life and what happens to you. And just because you're not fully aware of what you're doing, you're calling this hidden beliefs or limiting beliefs that are lurking somewhere under the surface that you cannot see them and they control your life. No, my love, you know how you fix this? By becoming aware of your thoughts, by becoming present with yourself as much as you can and just monitor what's inside your head, why you assume certain things about certain situations. That's all you have to do. Nothing is lurking under the surface. There's no hidden beliefs. There's no hidden assumptions either. If I ask you right now, what do you think about your money situation? You're gonna know what to tell me. What do you think about your SP? You're gonna know. You know exactly what you assume to be true about these two areas of your life. <laughs> Nothing is hidden. And you don't have to impress anything, my love. Is it true that by repetition you accept another truth as after some point? Yeah, it is true. But you don't need to repeat yourself mindlessly anything. The only thing that it takes for you to actually change self or change your world, when you change self, it's the same thing, is for you to change your opinion about what's happening, to see whatever you have in front of you through another point of view. Don't believe me? Okay go way back to when you started assuming that your SP lost feelings for you or they're losing feelings for you or they're getting distant. It was not a repetition situation there. You looked on the outside, you looked at how they act or what they do and you changed your mind about them. It was not by repetition. Yeah, okay, afterwards, you kept on entertaining this new point of view again and again and again. That's true. But a change of mind doesn't take repetition. It's very straightforward and it happens instantaneously. So there's a way more easy 
approach on how to change your life, my love, how to manifest something different. Can you go the route of repetition? Yeah, you can. Of course you can. Can it be productive, let's say? Can you be successful by repeating stuff to yourself? Yeah, you can. But listen, there's a way shorter route towards there. Just become aware of your thoughts, my love. Why am I thinking what I'm thinking right now? Why am I assuming because they don't answer to me in the last four hours? Why am I assuming they don't want to do anything with me? Do I have to repeat myself something, the opposite? No, realize that your assumptions are wrong. You're looking at the situation from a wrong point of view. That's all you're doing. My love, I understand your fixation with, uh, for example, the people that are manifesting their SP, especially if you're having some contact with this person. I understand your fi fixation on the 3D, trying to figure out if you're doing things right or not, and therefore you're fixating on their behavior towards you. I understand this, but figure this out. When you are in a relationship with a person, uh, life gets in the way sometimes, and just because you're not speaking for four hours, that doesn't mean anything. Just look at you when you know you're in a committed relationship with somebody. It doesn't matter if it has been five hours since the last time you spoke over the phone. You're chill about it. You know you're in a relationship with this person. You know life got in the way. You're relaxed about it. And look at yourself when you think you don't have what you want and the same scenario happens, yeah? Five hours you don't talk to this person and look at your tendency to be so over fixated of, on, on this, of what it means, why. Just look at yourself. So see, same circumstance, two very different states of being. It's not the same if you look at it from knowing that this person is yours and you're in a committed relationship or looking at the same circumstance through the eyes of, yeah, but I don't have this person. It's not mine yet. Uh, do you see it? <laughs> so again, did you need to affirm for this person to leave you, to lose feelings for you, to find somebody else? You didn't. So why are you doing it now? Again, can you take this route and can repetition finally make you accept another assumption? It can, but go straight for the assumption. Assumption means point of view, my love. You assume what's happening. We are always assuming anything and everything. An assumption is a supposition. You settle for a supposition. This is a point of view as well. I can look at the five hours that have passed and I did not talk to my person as, oh my God, there's something wrong happening. Or I can look at it like, yeah, life got in, gets in the way. It's okay. They are still mine. It's still happening. My love, this is an assumptive world, as Neville says. And he's so right. Whatever you assume to be true, you're going to find proof for that. This is science as well. What do you think science actually is? Just think about it. Someone starts from a premise and they go to prove this empirically. Yeah? Of course, if you start from a certain point of view, you're going to see it on the outside. <laughs> and when you change your mind, you're going to see the change of mind on the outside as well. Is science like something written over the stone? No. It's forever changing, forever adapting to our points of view. Not so long ago, we thought our genes are responsible for our illnesses until epigenetics showed up. Do you know Dr. Bruce Lipton? Yeah, listen to him as well, if you want more of a scientific point of view on things, okay? Science is always changing because we are always changing and you cannot go wrong. I swear to you, whatever you assume to be true, whatever you can imagine to be true, it has to be true. Truth has not only one face, my love. It has the face that you give it. <laughs> How do you give Truth a face. Well, by assuming something is true, by imagining something is a certain way. It's a guarantee you're going to experience it just like that. Just like that. So again, my love, 
Instead, I don't care if you believe in the subconscious, if you don't believe in the sub subconscious, this is not the important part. The important part is the following, my love. Realize you don't have to impress anything. You're just putting in place another rule, another condition between you and your wish fulfilled. You thinking that you have to do something before you can have what you want. It's a condition and it doesn't matter if it's proved scientifically, okay? It's still a condition. It's still something that you think you have to achieve first before you can have what you want. And I'm telling you right now, you can skip this step. You can skip the imp impressing of a subconscious step. Do it like God does it, like Source does it. Source imagines itself to be something and then it takes the form of that thing. Both internally and externally. It's instantaneous. Some of you are asking me also about how long it takes for something to manifest. It's instantaneous, girl. It's instantaneous because manifesting is experiencing. Manifestation is not about getting the thing in 3D. That's the side effect. Okay? That's the byproduct of your experience. So if I consider myself right now to be poor, I'm experiencing being poor and it has nothing to do with my bank account. Can you experience anything in the absence of anything in 3D? Yes. Do you want to make, again, the, the lemon example here, the lemon experiment? I can guarantee you gonna salivate because of an imaginary lemon. So do you need an actual 3D thing to make you experience a certain stuff, a certain situation? You don't. Manifestation means expression, experience. So it's instantaneous. Again, my love, try to drop all the nonsense rules, all the things that you think you have to do before you can have what you want. Not even impressing your subconscious mind. If you want to go that route, then go that route, but it's going to be lengthy. I'm just showing you the better way to go about things. You only decide who you are, and then from then on, you look at your life through these eyes. This is also living in the end of the wish fulfilled. I decide that I'm a millionaire. I look at my life through these eyes. Really, it's this easy. I don't have to pretend to be a millionaire. I don't have to keep up with anything. I just know out of all things that I am, I am also this. And I just choose to live in this truth from now on. <laughs> Do you understand? I don't have to impress myself. <laughs> impress my subconscious mind. Is there any subconscious mind, really? It's just an assumption. <laughs> yeah, and I know the feedback of this video is going to be the bump. I don't care. Strip away all these nonsense rules that you don't need them. If I think I need to wear... Uh, I don't know what crystals before I can manifest my desire. If it has to be a certain manifestation portal, this is no different from you thinking that you have to impress your subconscious mind. Oh, you think you're smarter than these people that think they need crystals to manifest something. You're not. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. The only thing that changes here is what you think you need to do before you have what you want. Wearing a crystal or impressing your subconscious mind is the same. Be smarter, my love, because you are. Just realize it's an assumptive world. Whatever I assume to be true in my situation about myself, about whoever or whatever, that's how things are going to show up, present themselves. I'm going to have the experience first internally. I'm going to experience it first inside. If I think uh, five hours have passed and my SP has not send me a message back if I think I'm being ignored then I am being ignored I'm experiencing that in the moment and then if I stay there yeah if I stay there call it repetition call it uh, persistence if I stay in this assumption it's gonna be my whole entire reality it is in the moment but you know what I mean it's gonna yeah it's gonna be the case as Neville says an assumption though false if persisted in, becomes a fact, this is what he means. Even if your person is not ignoring you, yeah? Life got in the way. Work got in, got in the way, whatever the hell. 
even if it's not true that they're ignoring you, the more time you spend here, the more you experience it internally, the more you're going to experience it externally as well. Do you understand how it works? So yeah, this is all I had to say about impressing your fictitious subconscious mind. You don't need this. You are the mind, the all of it. There's no separation. Even though we use this term sometimes, just know it's no separation. When you think there's a subconscious mind that needs you to do stuff for it, you're creating more separation. It's like this subconscious mind of yours has free will. You have free will. You as consciousness. You are the everything, including the mind, including the body, including all things. You are all things. So don't make it even harder on yourself trying to, I don't know, to, to go by I don't know what the hell rules. Make your own rules now, okay? Thank you for being here and talk to you soon. Bye.